Hi, David. Thank you so much for being here today with us. Thank you. Great to be here. I appreciate you taking the time. Absolutely. Looking forward to it. Well, our viewers have a lot of questions. Okay. We have so many people here that are brand new with LifeWave, and they want to know who you are. What's your background? What's your purpose in life? What's your mission? Why did you start LifeWave? And all the other questions we're going to cover during this interview. I know for me personally, when I met you for the first time three years ago, I was mind blown. I couldn't believe what I'd heard on video before seeing you in person and listening to you share the information about LifeWave, your background and what this had done for people. I knew I had to be a part of this company. And we have so many people that are brand new with LifeWave. Could you just give them a little bit of background, where you came from, how did you become an inventor and bring us up to speed with the start of LifeWave. Okay, uh, that's a lot to cover. I'll, uh, <laughs> I'll do my best. So um, I wanted to be an inventor from the time when I was very young, maybe seven or eight years old. And I got myself in a lot of trouble uh, taking apart <laughs> my mom's appliances and my dad's uh, hardware that he had in a workshop in the basement. And uh, I, I was very inquisitive and uh, I knew very early on that I wanted to be an inventor. Uh, my parents had taken me to the workshop of Thomas Edison. Uh, I, I grew up in New Jersey and Thomas Edison's workshop uh, was in Menlo Park, not very far from where we lived. So we went there and uh, when we were leaving, I said to my dad, I wanna be an inventor. Mm -hmm. And uh, my father said, well, there's no such job. And uh, I thought, well, Thomas Edison was an inventor, what, you know, what are you talking about? Mm -hmm. So um, I had this uh, dream and this desire, but I really didn't know how was this going to manifest? Uh, how, how was I gonna get to doing that in my life when you couldn't go to high school or college, you know, to be an inventor? But um, I, I would say through uh, a lot of prayer and uh, patience and persistence, doors eventually began to open up. And um, I think that's very important when people have dreams, you should work hard and pursue those dreams to be fulfilled. So in college, I got a degree in computer science and management, and then later went back for a degree in biology. And um, I had done uh, cancer research in school. I had spoken with uh, Dr. William Ventura, uh, went to school in New York at Pace University, and I convinced him to give me a lab so I could do this research and was able to get a grant from a company in New Jersey and a donation from the Children's Hospital of Philadelphia mm -hmm. and began to research um, two different types of tumor lines in immunogenic and non-immunogenic neuroblastoma. And through this research, uh, what I was interested in finding out was whether or not it would be possible to selectively destroy cancer cells versus healthy cells. And I was doing this with electromagnetic fields by attempting to depolarize the uh, voltage across the cell, which ended up being successful. And this was very important because later on, uh, when I was doing work for the Navy through government contractors, uh, I went back and was thinking about the electrical properties of the cell. And um, eventually, after uh, three years of research into finding ways to improve people's energy, I came up with this idea that if we could use the electrical properties of the cell, we could have a communication device that could uh, essentially tell the cells to burn more fat and uh, produce more energy. So that, that's, uh, I'm leaving out a lot of details, but that's some of the behind the scene things for mm -hmm. LifeWave. And so you started initially with our first patch, the energy enhancer. Yes. And so how did that come about? So that came about through uh, something that would have seemed, I mean, very unlikely. <laughs> uh, I had been, I had a company, uh, a small company with a group of guys uh, called Advanced Applications Group, and we were located up in the mountains of uh, Georgia in uh, Dahlonega. And essentially what we were doing was developing survival equipment for the crew of submarines. 
And some of the contributions that I made uh, were developing new methods to generate hydrogen for fuel cells and these battery hybrids. Uh, I developed an emergency oxygen supply. And uh, the key thing we were working on was a power generation system you would use on a sub if you had to take the nuclear reactor offline. And the power generation system was unique because we had a turbine that didn't have any blades in it, uh, which seems like an oxymoron. <laughs> and we had a combustion chamber that you could, it would operate at about uh, 2,500, 3,000 degrees, but you could put your hand on it really? while it was running. Wow. And the way that it did this was that it, uh, uh, we would create a vortex spiral hmm. inside of the combustor and this would uh, force all the heat essentially to the center of the combustor. And one day I was driving um, out of the mountains and I was going around Lake Lanier and I thought that there must be a vortex movement inside of the cells. And I couldn't find anything uh, in the literature that would suggest that that was the case. But I began, as I began to visualize the cell, I could picture a vortex around it. So I thought if, if we could uh, develop a device to interface with this vortex, if it was there, then we would have a way of communicating with the cell. So I began uh, to work on this uh, idea and concept, and uh, it, it took several years, but eventually I figured it out. And that is our energy enhancer that's, patches. That's the energy patches. So essentially, the energy patches will stimulate the skin with light mm -hmm. and they'll turn on beta oxidation. And um, this is a basic function of the mitochondria, which allows the mitochondria to uh, burn more fat for energy as opposed to carbohydrates. And we validated this through a number of studies. Okay, and I remember listening to my very first video before I met you in person back in 2020 one, I guess it was now, and I was in the car with my son. He was 16 at the time. And you were sharing that story and how you invented these patches and using them with the Navy SEALs. And of course, then went on to work at with Richard Quick. Is that correct? Yes. Yes. And my son was a basketball player at the time in oh, high school. And he said, okay. well, if there's something out there that's good enough for the SEALs and the Olympians, <laughs> I need it immediately for the court. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Working with Coach Quick was... Uh, absolutely extraordinary. And it was also really what got me interested in network marketing. Um, I had, um, I didn't have a good experience with networking. Uh, I had been in uh, at a group of friends in college and uh, myself and another one of my friends, we did not want to go the traditional route of working for, you know, a company like IBM or another big company and spending 30 or 40 years there. So we looked at all different types of entrepreneurial endeavors, and we went to a few network marketing meetings, and I was kind of underwhelmed. Mm. Uh, so when I started uh, LifeWave, I was really thinking about going a more traditional route, uh, advertising on TV or radio. And uh, the way that I met Richard Quick was I had lunch with a friend, and this friend referred me over to a guy that he did business with. Mm -hmm. And that guy referred me over to a medical doctor who interviewed me. And then that medical doctor introduced me to a fellow named Carl Merritt, uh, who's a medical doctor in California. And Dr. Merritt introduced me to Richard Quick, mm. all through networking. networking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that you know hit me like a rock <laughs> over the head. But uh, Coach Quick was absolutely uh, I could not say enough good things about him. Really remarkable guy. Um, and the, the main thing that he was interested in was protecting the health of his athletes. Mm -hmm. It had to be safe, but he also wanted to stay on the cutting edge. So for a fellow that was uh, a six time US Olympic coach, uh, staying on the cutting edge, but doing it safely was his concern. So he was investigating a lot of things. And in the, um, so I flew out to California to meet with him, to speak with his swimmers. Uh, and during the trial, uh, the first three weeks, six out of the eight swimmers that used the patches broke their personal lifetime best in, wow. in their event. And uh, Tara Kirk, who's on the team, a remarkable woman, 
uh, she broke the world record in the 50 meter breast, uh, breaststroke. The world record, using the energy enhancer patches. Using the energy patches, <laughs> yeah. And the funny thing was, uh, this is when we were still in the experimental phase with the uh, construction of the patch. Mm -hmm. And uh, the adhesive that we were using back in 2003, four was not as good as the one we're using today. Mm. So the way Tara Kirk uh, found out that the patches were working is she used them, she was doing well with them, and then uh, the patches came off in the pool and she wasn't swimming as well. Oh. And she's like, oh, I guess these things really do work. So, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Wow, that's yeah. incredible. So we have a lot of people here in our audience that are watching today that are entrepreneurs. And you mentioned that you always had that entrepreneurial spirit right. and you were maybe not so much about network marketing. Right. And I know when I was first introduced, yes, sign me up, I'm in. <laughs> I was all for it, I didn't know what it was. Yeah. My mom sold Tupperware, you know, we had Amway under the counter, but that's all I knew growing up. I didn't have any bad taste in my mouth. So I just thought this is gonna be a great way to be a stay-at-home mom and earn income for my kids. Yeah. So for the people in the audience, can you tell them you chose LifeWave to be a network marketing company because of this step-by-step -step co coincidences that happened, right? This right. series of events. So you started the company. How did that look in the beginning as you were just starting out? I recently heard you on a video say those first six months were really rough. And I think yeah. some of our brand partners may be able to relate to that. In the beginning, was it just all puppy dogs and ice cream cones? It was. <laughs> it was real. I wish it was. I wish it was both of those because I love both of those. Uh, we have three dogs in our family, oh, okay. so that would be great. Uh, no, it was uh, the first six months was incredibly difficult. Um, there was no money coming in, mm -hmm. and I was going and speaking with um, personal trainers, coaches. Uh, athletes, acupuncturists, medical doctors, scheduling appointments with basically anybody mm -hmm. that, w that I could talk to, to try the product. I was trying to figure out uh, how to do the marketing, uh, how to set up the manufacturing, because there was nothing in place at that time. And, uh, and it was really, really difficult. And um, I think maybe I got about $50,000 into debt uh, mm -hmm. on, on the initial startup. And then after that, uh, some things started to happen and more people were becoming, were becoming interested uh, and things started to move at that point. And then uh, the, the really the, the breakaway moment was when uh, the Olympic athletes at Stanford were seen on TV using mm -hmm. the patches. And um, we had it was in August of 2004, I think we did $35,000 in sales, which, wow. was, which was a huge <laughs> deal for us at that time. And um, about a thousand people came forward and said, I'd, I'd like to distribute this product. So it was very clear that networking was gonna be the mm -hmm. path forward. And then in uh, our first month in sales as a networking company in November of 2004, uh, we did about $500,000 in sales. Wow. So we were off to an That's incredible start. start. So uh, what, what changed my, my mind though about networking is that as, uh, as the company began successful, I saw people where they would come into the business, someone spent $100, others would spend $500 to enroll, and very quickly they would start earning a lot of money. And I began to appreciate the power of this, mm -hmm. that the company had put up hundreds of thousands of dollars at that point to establish the manufacturing, do the clinical studies, do all the regulatory work and the legal work. Uh, you, the software to drive the network was expensive, setting up order fulfillment, that uh, an individual that gets involved in networking doesn't have any of those expenses mm -hmm. It's a mature system and they can come in and share the product with others and earn a lot of money in a short period of time. Mm -hmm. And uh, of course, people today don't have to go through the hardships that I went through right. uh, when starting the business, which is awesome. It is. And you know, my yeah. husband Brent's a general contractor. So he owns his own business, he always has. Yeah. And usually once a month, he will remind me, do you realize you have no overhead? <laughs> you have no liability, yeah. you have no workers comp, 
You don't have to worry about anything. You just order the patches you love every month and we make this kind of money from LifeWave, from helping people with this technology. And that's such a gift to be able to, that you have provided for the hundreds of thousands, I don't know how many distributors we have globally, thousands of people, that you've provided this gift for all of us to be able to go and help people and provide for our families at the same time. Well, it's certainly a collaborative effort. There's no way that LifeWave could have done any of this mm -hmm. if it hadn't been for the leadership in the business and the amazing community of people that we have. Mm -hmm. um, and it's certainly been it's certainly been an incredible journey. I would like to say that uh, we started and then we didn't have any problems and everything was great, <laughs> but it was really uh, you know a lot of hard work. Fifteen years mm -hmm. of uh, fifteen years of building the business, creating a stable stable foundation to get to the point where in two thousand eighteen, when we launched X thirty nine, uh, that we could have this growth and everything would be stable and that growth that, we, that we've had uh, would collapse a lot of businesses. Uh, but because we had spent so many years building up the manufacturing and the infrastructure, uh, everything worked the way it was supposed to. Yeah, and during that time, you've invented other patches before yep. X39, so yes. that's why people will see other types of patches in our product line. So let's talk about that X39. You know, where did that, because it didn't just happen five years ago that it was released. No. <laughs> no. So where did that come from during this 15 year period of solidifying this company? Yeah, so th this has been, this has really been an evolution where the energy patches uh, were never intended to be put into the public domain, mm -hmm. um, but because of 9-11, uh, uh, I decided to take the technology public because the military was just interested in weapons at mm -hmm. that point. So fortuitously, uh, that all worked out. And then as I began to devote uh, full time into LifeWave, uh, I began to look at what other type of mechanisms could we tap into. So that's when the glutathione patch, the carnosine patch, eon patches mm -hmm. were developed. But in late uh, the late 2000s, uh, the research team in San Diego, where we were based at the time, uh, I began to talk to them about what the future was going to look like and what areas of research we should get into. And I wanted to go in the direction of uh, stem cell therapy. But to do it in a way where instead of injecting stem cells, we could somehow activate the stem cells that were already in the body. And the initial idea that I was blessed with, downloaded <laughs> with, um, was uh, this idea. I, I had this vision of this coil that looked like DNA, but wrapped into a circle. And I went and spoke with one of our engineers and said, hey, I want you to take a strand of DNA and model it and make it look like a toroid, uh, which he went ahead and did. And uh, then we began to uh, 3D print these coils mm -hmm. and then wrap them with wire and do these experiments. And uh, it became evident that this was a special type of field that could influence the cells in the body. Uh, we then, because our manufacturing is in Ireland, uh, we then reached out to uh, the National University of Ireland in Galway, where they have um, a regenerative medicine institute that specializes in stem cell therapy. Mm -hmm. And uh, I went and gave a presentation to Dr. Tim O'Brien, uh, who's the director uh, of that institute. And uh, Dr. O'Brien is a medical doctor and uh, his specialty is in diabetes. Mm -hmm. So uh, he had said to me that the worst thing that he has to do as a medical doctor is tell his patient that they need to amputate. Mm -hmm. And so I thought, okay, this would be a great application for this. If we could somehow activate the stem cells in the body to regenerate the nerves, the peripheral nerves, mm -hmm. then maybe we could reverse diabetic neuropathy and that would be huge. Uh, we later on and we, we later on went on and did that. Uh, mm -hmm. We did two studies with Dr. Norm Sheely. Wow. And we found that an, an additional study with uh, Dr. Glenn Ryan. And we found that we could in fact with this approach, 
activate the stem cells in the body and cause new nerves to grow. Um, and the problem with all this was that it was expensive mm -hmm. and we were gonna need a boatload of money to get through regulatory, probably about $100 million. Whoa. <laughs> and, uh, and it was gonna take 10 years, we wow. estimated. So um, I had to go back and I had to go back and look at how can we get this into the hands of people that, uh, so that it's safe, it's effective, and everyone can mm -hmm. afford it. Mm -hmm. And what happened next, uh, you know I'm a big <laughs> Iron Man fan. Yes. <laughs> I feel like what God did was put me into a cave, the wow. way Tony Stark was put right. into a cave, <laughs> which I'm very grateful about. I was in a meeting in San Diego, and um, things at LifeWave were difficult financially. We had had this crash of our computer system, mm -hmm. and, um, and, and it, was, it was a rough time. And I was in a meeting, and there was a lot of tension in the room. And I was sitting back and looking at some of the executives argue uh, about a few things. And I thought, I'm so tired mm -hmm. of being on the defense. I want to be on the offense again in the business. And um, I've got to figure out this problem. So I went back and I looked through all of my notes and then um, it became evident to me about how to solve this issue and it was gonna be through copper peptide. Mm. So I had to uh, have an innovation in the way the patches work though to get to that point. And then uh, of course, once the prototype patch existed, we had to do a study to figure out whether or not this was gonna do what it was designed to do. And there were no blood tests mm. where you could just go and test people's levels of copper peptide. Right. We had to spend nine months doing that. Mm. So when eventually we, we solved all those problems, we had the patches and I knew they were gonna work, uh, I scheduled a call with the leaders at the time and you, you never know how people were gonna react. And I said, okay, well, we've got this patch and it activates stem cells. What do, you, what do you guys think? And they got really excited about it, mm -hmm. uh, which was the reaction that I was yeah. hoping for. <laughs> and then about a month later, I'll never forget it, um, David Jumper, who is, uh, has been with the company from the very beginning, and I owe him an enormous debt of gratitude mm -hmm. for everything he's done. And I couldn't say enough thing, great things about him. At the time, uh, his wife was debilitated mm -hmm. and, and she was in extraordinary pain. And he had thought, I can't believe that we're getting into retirement age and this is gonna be the life that she's gonna have. And three weeks after using X39, she was up off the sofa out of pain and she had gotten her life back. Wow. And David said to me that he was going to do everything possible to see that the company would be successful, which he went and did. Mm -hmm. So it, it's been an extraordinary journey. There's so many things that I feel so blessed about, um, but that was really the beginning of the X39 journey and, mm -hmm. and how we got to where we are today. Right, which is almost a half billion dollar company. Uh, we're over that. We now. are over the half billion we, now. We are, yeah. We were, we were. We're on, hearing that first right now. <laughs> we well, I, I'd say we're at that run rate. If we, if we uh, wow. took a look at our uh, the rate of sales that we have this mm -hmm. year, uh, we're going to be above last year's sales by about fifty percent. Wow. In that range, so the the growth is extraordinary. It is. Yeah. We are so grateful to be a part of that. Same. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Every day. Yeah. So for our viewers out here that don't really even understand how the patch works, I think that's probably one of the hardest things for people. How do I explain this technology? How do I understand it? How do I explain it in a way that other people can understand what I'm saying? So can you give them a little bit, just a quick little, this is what the patch has in it, this is what it does, and this is what we typically see. 
Yeah, so, well, there's a simple way and there's a more complicated way. So let's way. do the simple way for our viewers first, and then we can do the more complicated way. Okay, so the simple, the simple way is the patches contain organic materials that are activated by body heat. The patches then stimulate the skin with very low levels of light, mm -hmm. and this turns on production of copper peptide. And copper peptide naturally occurs in the body, but it declines with age. And some of the things that this will do is improve the metabolism, improve energy and the flow of energy. It helps to manage inflammation. It helps to improve recovery. Uh, and it also uh, improves uh, sleep. Mm -hmm. So there's a whole host of benefits from elevating copper peptide. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Wow, so that's, that's the simple explanation. That's the simple. Okay. That's the simple one. And we put this patch on in the morning when we get up. Right. And we leave it on 12 hours. Right. And then we take it off. Do we use it again the next day? No. No. We don't use it again the next day because uh, the product is a clean product. And uh, if a person were to take the patch after it had been used and let's say apply it to skin that had been broken, there's mm -hmm. a risk of getting a cut, open skin infected. Mm -hmm. So that's one of the reasons. And then the other is the patches will last roughly about a day or so. Mm -hmm. um, so they're intended to be disposable. They will, they will go inactive over a period of time. Okay, yeah. so we wear that just 12 hours on, 12 hours off. 12 hours on, 12 hours brand off. Brand new one the next day. Yep, that's right. Perfect. So you just mentioned with the skin, if there was a cut or an abrasion or something, what if someone uses a patch and they have a little rash or reaction around that area from the patch? Yeah. Why is that and what should they do? Yeah, so there's several reasons as to why that might occur. The first is that about one in 10,000 people will be allergic to the adhesive. So if uh, someone is allergic to a Band-Aid, they may want to apply the patch to clothing instead of directly to the skin. The, the adhesive that we use is a 3M uh, acrylate hypoallergenic uh, product, but still some people, very, very few people will be allergic to it. Um, the other reason is kind of interesting, and uh, this is a phenomena that doctors see in acupuncture, is that the patch is designed to trap body heat. Mm -hmm. So if you leave it on too long, uh, it can create a heat rash, which will go away when it's removed. Uh, the other thing that, that will happen is that the patch improves the flow of energy through the body. And in acupuncture, if you put a needle into uh, an acupuncture point for too long, that area will become red and irritated. And uh, it's the body's way of saying, hey, you're overstimulating me. Mm -hmm. So in some cases, that's what it's from. It's from overstimulation. Mm -hmm. And in all cases, just remove the patch, drink some water, and give that spot a rest. Okay, perfect. So you yeah. mentioned water. Let me ask real quickly, why is water important when we're using LifeWaves patches? So, as people age, the amount of water in the body begins to decline, and water is necessary for producing energy and also for elimination of cellular waste and toxins. And most people today, unfortunately, they don't drink enough water, mm. they, or they drink too much coffee or tea, and they become dehydrated. So the simple answer is that Unless we have enough water in the body, we can't make energy, we can't detoxify. So um, this is why we recommend that people drink enough clean water each day so their body can make enough energy and they're gonna get the best mm -hmm. results with the patches. Do you think there's any kind of water that's better than the other? That's a trick question. <laughs> uh, yeah, there, there actually is. So I've been studying uh, different types of structured water okay. for many, many years now. Uh, so there have been some good products that have been on the market, like Willard Water, for example, mm -hmm. is one that goes back to the 60s and 70s. And uh, basically with, with products like this, um, generally speaking, they will reduce the surface tension of the water. And uh, what this does is that it allows the water to penetrate the cell and, and uh, deliver better hydration. Uh, those products are fine, mm -hmm. um, but they have their limitations. So in our labs, uh, one of the projects 
uh, that we've been working on for many, many years is coming up with a better way to create a water with anti-aging properties. Wow, that sounds interesting. It's, I think it's interesting. Yes. I think it's very interesting. I love water. Yeah, <laughs> I, I enjoy it too. Yes, wonderful. Yeah. So a lot of our viewers have the question, because of our population with the patches, yes, like I mentioned, my son loves them and you know, at his young age, and of course I do, I'm super young and youthful, thanks yep. to the patches. Uh, but the people that are using the patches in their 50s, 60s, 70s, they wanna know about contraindications. Mm -hmm. Sometimes they're on medications, or maybe they're using different types of supplements, and they wanna make sure there are no interactions with what they're using and the patches. Is that a possibility? So the first thing is uh, I'm not a medical doctor, and we don't provide any mm -hmm. medical advice. So we have to legally recommend that if someone is use, is, has medication that they're taking, if they have a medical condition, they should ask their healthcare practitioner okay. first. So light therapy, one of the advantages to it is that it's inherently safe. And we're only turning on systems that naturally occur in the body anyway. So if we took an example, Let's say uh, many people might like to have a surgery-free facelift. Mm. So <laughs> the FDA <laughs> has, uh, well, the FDA has approved the use of, uh, let's say, 660 nanometer light, mm -hmm. and you can go to a dermatologist and put your face into a bank of these orange-colored lights, and that has been clinically demonstrated to turn on collagen mm -hmm. to reduce lines and wrinkles. Uh, we, of course, we have our own approach to doing it. Mm -hmm. uh, but the point is that the light therapy is doing something that the body is already designed to do, make energy, make collagen. So that makes the patches inherently safe. Mm -hmm. Now, on the other hand, uh, if someone is uh, taking medication, we won't have a study to show that our patches are mm -hmm. safe with that medication. So they should get approval from their doctor. Okay, perfect. Yeah. Now the other question I get, because you know the first person I patched, the reason I found out about LifeWay was because of my daughter, Taylor. Mm -hmm. And Taylor was in a wheelchair and nonverbal and required full care. So a lot of people ask about patching children. I didn't think twice about it. I watched your video, that one 50 minute video, and I bought a sleeve from a wellness center in Sarasota, and I immediately got home and put that right on the back of her neck, CB7. Yep. That's all I needed. I yep. hadn't looked at a study, patent, research, anything. But a lot of parents are concerned. I had been researching stem cells. We did 12 years of stem cell therapy with her in and out of the country, all different types. Hyperbarics, light therapy, actual injections, yep. laser directed from Germany. So for me, it wasn't a question of, is this safe? It was just how fast can I get it on her? Right. But for parents that wanna know, we don't have studies with children. And this is what I always say, but how do you feel about that with someone as a parent choosing to patch their child? I've put patches on my kids from when they were very young. Mm -hmm. And um, since we don't have studies, we have to say that it's up to the parents and pediatrician or doctor. Mm -hmm. But uh, my general feeling about it is that we've, after doing 80 clinical studies being out the market for 20 years as a practical matter, as long as the child is old enough to communicate that they're okay or they get a headache from the use of it, uh, then, it then it's safe to use. So generally the way children would use these is if they have a headache or some type of ache or pain and they, uh, parents wanna manage the pain without the use of drugs, that's an excellent use for the product. Uh, just today, actually, my wife told me that my stepdaughter, she had gone in for dental surgery, mm. uh, which was pretty serious, and she was in an enormous amount of pain. And uh, my wife applied ice wave to both sides of the face, and her pain went to a zero. Wow. Uh, so she was pretty happy about that. Mm -hmm. uh, so, yeah, it, I would say ultimately it's um, a decision for a parent to make uh, but we haven't seen any type of contraindications that, that we would be concerned about. Okay. Yeah. Wonderful. Thank you. Sure. Well, and along that line, speaking to our doctors, we do have a lot of medical doctors 
in Lifeway, a lot of surgeons, dentists, chiropractors, uh, many different types of practitioners. Can we give them some information, some advice? I know we, sure. I've listened to your practitioners' videos in the past. Why would someone that's in the medical profession or any type of holistic type of healing modality, why would they be interested in LifeWay? Why would this be something to incorporate into their practice with their patients? The patches are a fantastic method for aftercare. So the patches are not gonna replace a proper diagnosis from a medical professional mm -hmm. or healthcare professional. They're not gonna replace chiropractic service or, right. uh, or other, but for aftercare, it's phenomenal. Mm -hmm. So um, what we, as a company, really like, to, um, really like to promote is that an individual needs to develop a strong foundation, mm -hmm. get their diet in check, make sure they're exercising, take supplements where needed, um, manage stress, which I'm not very good at <laughs> from being a workaholic, um, and, and uh, get, those, get those pillars, get proper rest, all the things that we know contribute mm -hmm. to good health. And then using tools like the patches, you can take your results to the next level. So for a healthcare practitioner, this ends up delivering better satisfaction for their patient. Mm -hmm. It gives them an, another way to help manage pain, improve the quality of sleep, improve their energy without having to use stimulants, improve their recovery, and, and so forth. Mm -hmm. So um, the, the medical doctors that I've spoken with over the years that let's say maybe clinical nutritionists where they're gonna be more prone to using, uh, using natural products really love the patches because it complements everything else that they're going to do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. I feel like it's a fantastic tool in your toolbox. The, the compliance with the patches is extraordinarily high. Mm -hmm. So one, one of the things with clinical studies that um, clinics normally see is that if you enroll 50 people into a study, maybe you get 45 that complete or 40 people that complete the study. But with LifeWave, because it takes seconds mm -hmm. to apply the patch, the compliance is very high. And uh, this is something that's wonderful for practitioners because that's, as you know, mm. one of the most difficult things. You take care of your patient and then when they leave, maybe they're not taking their supplements or maybe they're not exercising. But with the patches, that's something that's easy and convenient and that they'll do. I totally agree. Yeah. And you get tired of looking at the countertop of bottles right. every day. And you're like, I'm going to do this today. I promise myself. <laughs> and then you yeah. brush your teeth and throw on the patch and go about your day. <laughs> right. Yeah. It's easy. And the, the, uh, in our studies, another reason that practitioners would be interested in this is uh, if we use glutathione as an example, let's say that you had an individual and uh, they're having uh, problems with fatigue. They had to detoxify they had issues with their immune system, and the doctor said, okay, we wanna get your, gl your glutathione levels up. Uh, with supplementation, which I absolutely would recommend, um, that's gonna take quite a while. If uh, someone were on a supplement of glutathione or NAC, maybe it takes a month to build that glutathione level up 15, 40%, depending on whether or not they're taking it once or twice a day. Uh, with the patches, we've seen people go up as much as 300% in a single day. Wow. And that was through uh, blood testing that we did. So, um, the, so the patches work incredibly fast. And again, that's great for the patient. Okay, fantastic. Yeah. So I have a question about 39 and 49. Right. People want to know, why did you have to invent X49? What is the difference between the two? What's the, diff what's the point of having the two of them together? Does yeah. X49 activate the same type of cells that X39 does? Yeah, so X39 definitely came first, mm -hmm. and that is a GHKCU copper peptide. So uh, copper, th this copper peptide is based off of glycine, and it's a tripeptide. So it's composed of the amino acids glycine, histidine, and lysine. And uh, part of the magic of the peptide is that it is a very high affinity for binding with copper. Mm. And uh, this is what gives it its properties. So the other advantage of uh, GHKCU is that 
it's ubiquitous. It's found pretty much throughout the entire body. So the results that people will get will tend to be rather systemic. Mm -hmm. So in our studies, we see people get benefits in the cardiovascular system, in uh, their cognition, uh, health benefits in the brain, uh, health benefits for uh, strength, stamina, recovery, and, and so forth. X49, on the other hand, when I was looking at uh, what we were going to do with patches as a follow-up to X39, uh, I wanted to see first technically that we could elevate AHK since it's come something like a daughter peptide, mm -hmm. the GHK. AHK, as the name would imply, is based off of alanine instead of glycine. And alanine is very interesting. Uh, I had been studying the effects of carnosine on the body for 15 years. And uh, so I was familiar with al alanine metabolism. And alanine is more localized. So when we think of the effects of alanine in the body, uh, we would think in terms of uh, metabolism in the brain, in the heart, in the skeletal muscle, and in the skin. And it also shows up in some other places. But it, it tends to be more localized than GHK. And, uh, but AHK has some remarkable benefits a, as we found. Uh, and we, we did a study with uh, people using just GHK or just AHK and then the combination of the mm -hmm. two. And uh, we found that because uh, X49, when it's elevating uh, AHK, uh, metabolizes in the muscle, it appears that it activates the uh, satellite stem cells in the muscle, although we haven't validated that. But, okay. but, but the proof that we saw was that people gain muscle very rapidly uh, when using X49, and they had remarkable improvements in strength stamina and also corresponding decrease in body fat. Um, so the way to think about it is that X39 is good for the entire body, mm -hmm. and then there's gonna be some very powerful localized benefits of using uh, X49. Okay, perfect. Yeah. For anyone, not just athletes. For anyone, yeah. Okay. Well, I would say for anyone, because a, a good way to think about this is that one of the biggest challenges that everyone faces as they age is sarcopenia, mm -hmm. the loss of muscle and also the loss of bone density. And uh, that was in fact a study that we did with X49. Uh, we did that with Dr. Melinda Connor, and we found that uh, AHK would inhibit the loss of bone and mm -hmm. could even um, increase bone density mm -hmm. over a period of time. So uh, as people age, and especially as they get into their 60s and 70s, loss of strength and stamina leads to an increased risk of mortality, mm -hmm. all-cause mortality. Right. So if, uh, if we can do things to preserve muscle mass, preserve bone density, and uh, keep people healthy and strong, then we're decreasing their risk of death. Mm -hmm. Wow. Perfect. But we're not making that claim. Of course I not. should say that. We're not making that claim. But it, but it is, right. uh, but it is uh, clinically, mm -hmm. it's, it's well known uh, that uh, loss of muscle and bone density leads to all-cause mortality, mm -hmm. increased risk of all-cause mortality. Okay. Yeah. And so for our viewers out here, what's to come with LifeWave? What do they have to look forward to? These entrepreneurs that are sitting on the edges of their chairs, just like we are, what do they have to look forward to? Well, um, if you were in our labs, uh, mm -hmm. you would see some uh, pretty incredible things uh, and get a, a glimpse for the future. And the, the key area that we've been researching since the release of X39 in 2018 um, has been along the lines of uh, what can we do to stop human aging and even reverse the aging process? Mm -hmm. and. This idea you know, would have seemed like quackery 20 years ago, but now there's billions of dollars that are being invested uh, by large companies into this area. And very prominent and well-known people now are saying, yeah, human beings should have a lifespan into the, the hundreds of years. So uh, the, the approach uh, that we take in our research is to 
look at species that don't age or don't age the same way that human beings would and see if we can mimic that with technology. Mm -hmm. So the uh, species that we've studied have been planaria, hydractinia, ants, lobsters, and um, I'm, I'm happy to say we've uncovered some things that other people haven't. And uh, we've been able to figure out how to turn those concepts into new technology. Wow. And so how can we as brand partners be able to help you with that mission going forward? I think what I would say is uh, come to the event that, that we're going to hold in October mm -hmm. in Dallas, uh, which is sold out. Uh, <laughs> and, um, and our brand partners, our community, will be able to get a look at the future. Uh, this is going to be principally... What I'm going to be uh, talking about is this journey mm -hmm. that I've been on the last six years and what has happened as a result. And the incredible thing is that there are these uh, codes which mm -hmm. exist in nature that are responsible for um, a species like lobster not aging. And um, I'll, I'll share the, the research that I've accumulated with this. And it gives us a path now to looking at human aging in, in an entirely different way. So my expectation of what's gonna come from this is we'll have new ways to extend lifespan but stay young in the process. Mm. Wow. So to wrap up, David, with all that you have just shared with us, you have accomplished a lot. Over 150 patents plus, you stopped counting. Stop counting, yeah. Stop counting. Yeah. So what are the three most remarkable things that you're proud of in your life? Um, I don't know if I would characterize it that way, but I, I would say the first thing is I'm extraordinarily grateful to my God and creator mm -hmm. for blessing me with everything that I have. I, I feel as if that um, if I didn't have God in my life, I wouldn't have anything. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't be anywhere today. And uh, so I, I really want to give glory to God for everything that I've been blessed with and uh, to be so fortunate to be associated with the great people that are in LifeWave and, and to do what we do for a living. Um, I, I feel extremely blessed that I'm married to a great woman. I have incredible kids and incredible family. And of course, I'm incredibly grateful for where the company is at today and the, what we have as the prospects for the future. Mm -hmm. the, because the company now has been so successful, it means that we can take new technology and continue to expand the opportunities for LifeWave. So today, we're a life technology company. Mm -hmm. uh, but what you'll see in the coming years is that we're going to grow uh, very far past that. Uh, as you know, we unveiled a new drone mm -hmm. uh, that we've been developing, and, and that serves as a test bed for mm -hmm. uh, several different pieces of technology that we've developed. And eventually, that's gonna make its way into our product line. Mm -hmm. uh, not that we're gonna be selling drones, mm -hmm. uh, but there's some really amazing technology that uh, will open up a massive uh, market and uh, so my, my goal is to simply create new technology, patent it, make it exclusive to LifeWave, mm -hmm. and forge into new territory with technology that's good for the planet and offers our company opportunities that other network marketing companies don't have. Wow. What a blessing. Thank you so much, David, oh, for being you. here today with us. Thank you for taking the time to record this for all of our viewers that are watching it live as well as in the future. My Thank pleasure. You. Thank you. Thank you.